British brand, owned by a German company, with the signature vehicle manufactured in Holland, the decidedly cosmopolitan 2017 Mini Cooper Countryman is certainly a vehicle for all seasons, and condition and segments, and markets, in more ways than one. It's a vehicle that has come a long way, both literally and figuratively since its beginning in the Midlands of England back in the 50s. Twenty years ago, the idea of a mini SUV would have generated raucous laughter whenever and wherever you were brave enough to mention it. Now, especially with the rampant success of the small SUV segment around the world, the concept isn't just embraced, it's expected. With that in mind, Car Advice was invited to sample the all-new 2017 Mini Countryman, bigger, and supposedly, better than ever. Six years after the launch of the original Countryman, Mini has sold more than 550,000 around the world. So much for the skepticism then. Miserable, rainy England in winter is pretty much the perfect surrounds in which to sample the new Countryman, and we've even got a sloppy, muddy off-road course at the launch program to see whether the Mini can actually deliver when the going gets a little tougher. It's one thing to call a Mini an SUV, but is it really? We'll soon find out. Furthermore, England's multitude of winding country lanes will be the perfect place to see whether this Mini nails another crucial design brief. According to the engineers, it must drive like a Mini, handle like a Mini and feel like a Mini from behind the wheel. That's one promise to deliver on with a three-door hatch, but quite something else from a five-door SUV. While we don't know local pricing and specification as yet, BMW Australia is keen to price the Countryman somewhere around the $40,000 mark for the start of the range, and will justify the price hike. Current Mini Cooper Countryman starts from $34,150 for the 1.62 WD before on-road costs, by adding more standard kit than the model it replaces, much more kit, according to representatives.